Welcome back to Main Street Living. We've all heard the saying, put your money where your mouth is. And it turns out that might be great advice. That's right. There are options now for investors, both big and small, to invest their money in companies and in causes that they believe in. Doug Heskey with New Day Impact is here to share more. Welcome, Doug. Hello. Great to see you again. Great to see you, too. All right. Let's start with impact investing. What is that and how is that different from regular investing? Uh, great question. So impact investing is investing with the intention of deriving what are very specific impact outcomes that are measurable tied to a very specific cause. And it is different from regular investing is in that some investors are taking what we define as concessionary returns or lower rates of return based upon the impact outcomes that they're trying to achieve. Okay, this sounds interesting. I want to know more. Tell us about the New Day impact and specifically what that is and what you specialize in. So we are a market-based solutions provider. So what we're trying to do by investing in public companies with purpose to drive mm -hmm. behavioral changes at corporate organizations relative to their policies and practices. Oh. And we do this work in five specific areas relative to climate action, ocean mm. health, clean water, conservation, and then diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is sort of a foundation for all of this work that has to happen in both the global south and the global north. So let's get a little more specific. World Oceans Day, for example, coming up on June 8th. Anna Maria Island, Florida, close place in my heart for my family. And it seems water access and healthy oceans seem to be a big focus for New Day Impact. Yeah, it's interesting because over the course of the last decade, there has always been this discussion as the Southern Rainforest being sort of the, um, the, um, the, the ecosystem that is providing most of the oxygen for the world and really serving as the lungs of the planet, when in fact it really is the oceans. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is foundation to all of our environmental systems. So it is one of the reasons that we focus on ocean health and we run two investment portfolios that are investing in public companies that are supporting the health of our oceans. More than that, what we are doing is embracing what we identify as an impact campaign around the health of the foundation of all oceans, which is the Southern Ocean. And I'd be happy to talk more specifically about the work that's going on in that program as well, especially as we march down towards World Oceans Day and Ocean Week next week. This is so important that you're doing this. And as a meteorologist and climate advocate myself, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. I was recently on a cruise uh, in the South China Sea, and I was appalled at the amount of plastic I saw just going by in the ocean, bottles after bottles. I mean, it was it was terrible to see that. So the cause is very important. And if somebody wants to start making their money work for causes they believe in like this, how can they get started? That's a, a great question. So we have spent the last several years really examining those issues that are of primary importance in addressing ocean health. And certainly ocean plastics is one of them. And mm -hmm. we all are out there and look at the horrifying situation regarding the amount of plastics and trash that are in our oceans. There are a number of really important things that are in addition to ocean plastics are things that we need to address. One of those things is kelp restoration along the western seaboard, mm -hmm. ocean acidification. And then most importantly right now, what few people are aware of is, is that the health of the Southern Oceans, uh, as tied to the krill population, uh, and that little tiny creature absorbs more than 22 million metric tons of carbon every year, which mm -hmm. is equivalent to something like 20 million cars on the road each year. Just extraordinary numbers. And what most people aren't aware is, is that krill are used in the production of a number of things by human beings. So it's nutraceuticals and therapeutics because they provide what are defined as super omega-3s that are taken as healthcare supplements. Krill also end up in aquaculture feed, livestock feed, mm -hmm. and pet food. And as a result of all of that, the expectation is over the next 12 to 15 years that the krill system may potentially collapse because of a rising demand of approximately eight times where we are today. So what we're doing as a part of this program is addressing what is the foundational problems associated with the Southern Ocean, krill being one of them, 
and trying to address consumer behavior relative to the consumption of krill. And we're doing this in close association with our partner, the Cousteau family, and their organization, Earth Echo International, and a number of critical partners that are a part of this issue or part of providing a solution here, which includes ASOC, which is the governing body that encompasses the 21 countries that are overseeing the health of the Southern Ocean, organizations like the Anthropocene Institute based out here in California, and a number of others that are doing really outstanding work in terms of addressing this issue. So you kind of just touched on that. It doesn't necessarily have to be just an individual investors who want to make a difference. Can companies take part to impact as well? Companies can absolutely take part. And one of the things that's absolutely essential right now, particularly in corporate organizations, that we get them to change their policies and practices. And this is the work that New Day does as an advocacy organization engaging with corporate, corporate organizations around these issues. So as an example, the big or the largest distributors for krill products or krill nutraceuticals around the country are the big consumer distributors like the Walmarts and the Costco's and the CVS's. And so our work at New Day is involved in working with those organizations in getting them to change those policies and practices. And the great news is, is that there is an easy replacement for krill-based nutraceuticals in the form of algae-based nutraceuticals. Hmm. And the most interesting thing is, is that krill don't produce these super omega-3s on their own. They are only doing that because they are consuming algae. Interesting. And so as an advocacy manager, we run portfolios that are in support of the ocean program. And as a stakeholder or shareholder in these organizations, we go out and directly address them with our partners like Earth Echo and a number of other organizations that are working closely on the initiative. Yeah, this is all of this is so interesting to me. And I know that as the oceans are warming due to climate change as well, the locations of krill and plankton, they're shifting toward the poles. And so now we're seeing whales farther north than we've ever seen before. And they're in search of that food as well. So it's just it's impacting so much around the globe. And it sounds like New Day and your impact is really making a difference. Are you seeing some good changes um, it's early. This is a three to five year program. And of course, addressing consumer sentiment and behavior takes a long time to do. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of really strong examples of where this has happened in the past, whereby, you know, just a little bit of effort can shift be consumer behavior and make a monumental imp uh, impact on a really, really important issue. And what we like to say, this is perhaps one of the biggest environmental crises is that nobody's talking about today. Mm -hmm. But we as consumers, we as corporate organizations have the power to affect change in a really, really, really meaningful way going forward. All right. So let's get you some more support. If people want to learn more or sign up with New Day Impact, how do they do that? So please visit our website, NewDayImpact.com. We are all over social media as well. I would also direct you to our partner's website, EarthEchoInternational.org, a very important partner of ours that's run by the Cousteau family. And the other thing that I would share is always please, please feel free to reach out directly to me at Doug at New Day Investing, and we'll get one of our team members back in touch and tell you more how to get involved. Such important work. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Great to see you all. Thanks for Me having too. us back. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brandy, what a great interview, making for some sure. good impacts there. And coming up next, we'll meet a Santa Barbara teacher who's also making an impact. Stay right here with us. Mm -hmm.